good morning, listeners. Uh, my name is Victor Maguire, and here is the rural weather forecast uh, for the next seven days. No, there was a terrible black owl mishmash of a sky yesterday evening, and a wicked northwesterly wind coming in between our buyer and Hayshed. And if memory serves me right, that can only mean one thing: today will be a lovely day. Ah, uh, money cadnies! No, there'll be no let up with the rain today. We'll be flooded out of it the same as all summer. It might ease off for a while around seven o'clock, where you would strongly be advised to visit any elderly neighbours or loved ones. Now, Sunday will start off in the morning and work its way through till dinner time with only heavy showers and a real husky wind that had take the nose off your face. Uh, but due uh, to the frogs being an just dark browny colour, there'll be another deluge in the evening, and you may forget any social activities, apart from, of course, maybe listening to the wireless or putting all the remote controls in the one place. In contrast to this, a Monday morning is going to be a whole wet day, as the swallows were flying at a very low altitude around our field in front of the house. The evening will be no better. A worse, if anything. A looking further ahead into the week, well, it's not looking good, as I saw some of our farm animals pairing themselves off into twos. There's going to be a flood. And the glass is low, and Owl Moore's Almanac is advertising life jackets. Now, Wednesday could be a scorcher, if you stay within in the house and you can find any sticks dry enough to burn. Because Mrs. Bowles, uh, the English woman, heard on the World Service that there's going to be another big plush of rain in the middle of the week. Added to this, John Sheridan said he never saw the water coming up as far in his Wellingtons when he was walking through the sunken hollow at the bottom of his lane. Uh, Torza might improve if there was a god. A butcher, even that's looking very doubtful at the moment. And Francie Ryan has taken into walking home a different way from Mass of a Sunday, and that can only mean one thing a more persistent rain. By Friday, the thunder will start, but it will probably be too wet for lightning. Also, uh, Mary Hilda McKernan has just informed me that the pain in her leg has gone up into her ha, and that usually means hailstones. Also, any Friday that falls the day before Saturday will have squally showers, intermittent hurricanes and constant thunderstorms. And all I'm thinking is, what is the weather going to be like if Mayo wind all Ireland? Enjoy the last of the summer. Thank you for listening.